I'm Samantha Arthur, Conservation Project Manager at Audubon, California, and I manage our Tricolor Blackbird campaign. We're trying to save the tricolor blackbird from extinction, and the species has declined significantly um, in statewide surveys that occurred over the past three years. So three years ago, there were 44% um, more birds than there were just this last year, and then there was also a 64% decline from six years ago. So Audubon, California is really concerned about the fate of the tricolor blackbird. And this is an endemic species, nearly endemic to California. So about 90, 95% of the species is found within the state. So it's really California's blackbird. The first time I saw a tricolor blackbird was, also, was actually in a wetland on a duck club. And it was actually just a single tricolor blackbird uh, that was in, you know, it was with a mixture of red wings. And it was so exciting to see that white bar. Uh, that's really what I had been waiting for. And it really flashed, you know, it really was, uh, it was impossible to miss. And then now going down in the San Joaquin Valley, that's when I'm seeing more of these big flocks of tricolor blackbirds and, and they're separating from other blackbirds to nest. And so now they're in these huge groupings and it's really cool to see their movements and their patterns of flight and, uh, and their patterns of, you know, feeding and foraging and coming back to nesting sites and then looking for insects and, and sort of scoping out where is going to be the best spot for them to breed this season. Well, one of the interesting things actually is that they've adapted to, to a really augmented landscape. So they've figured out how to survive in an agricultural landscape and they um, nest in, in different non-native and cultivated fields. So they're zeroing in on wheat fields associated with dairies in the Central Valley um, because the, the structure of that wheat field really mimics their native habitat that they evolved to nest in, um, in wetlands. So they're coming in and choosing these sites because there's a mixture of the vegetation, the rigid kind of structure for that vegetation to create their nests, and then water and an insect supply. And that's oftentimes associated with, with dairies uh, throughout the San Joaquin Valley. And so it's really challenging, I think, for the average dairy farmer who, um, you know, is, is planning their, their business and planning the timing of their harvest and, and trying to get that crop when it's most nutritious for their cows. Uh, and, and it's unexpected for them when a flock of a large, sometimes really large flock of birds um, comes into nest. And so, you know, we try to work with dairy farmers to really come up with solutions. So we're trying to figure out how can we protect this bird that's nesting in their fields and how can we also support their goals as, as a dairy farmer. And so I think it is, you know, it is a different partnership, but it's a really important one. And the way that uh, the species can get saved, I think, is from those on the ground solutions. The tricolor blackbird is a total fighter. You know, they're, they're living in this completely altered landscape and they're figuring out how to survive and they're figuring out where to nest and, and how to, you know, continue the next generation. So it's really cool to watch, watch their nesting process and to watch, you know, how they survive in this landscape.